After one week of raining, we finally got some really good temperature in Canada. It's actually warm today and it's actually sunny. Feels good. We're going to have a chest and tricep workout today. High volume, but we're going to focus on the upper chest again. I really want to bring that in. And uh, we're going to focus on a slower tempo on the way down. Just to have some fun with it. Switch it up and have a good time and get massive. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like, subscribe if you're not already. And let's get to it. All right, so here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is the second chest day of the week because my chest is not as thick as I want it to be. So I'm really working on that to really bump up the frequency. So basically twice a week compared to once a week before. And I, I do a lot more volume. Um, but I still make sure that I can recover in between sessions. If I don't feel fresh, uh, I'm just not going to go as heavy. But today I felt really good. So I decided to go for three sets of two reps. Pause here with 280. That felt quite easy. Um, and this second set felt even easier. I guess I wasn't warm enough. But I, I did at least five to six warm up sets to really get the movement good with the barbell and f the body warm, basically. Sometimes I, I warm up too quickly and the, the weights feel heavier because I'm not warm enough. So I make sure to do that correctly. Then lower the weight here, did three sets of eight reps, paused for the size stuff. And this set was a, a grueler, but got it done. And I really make sure to pause and re to remove all momentum. I don't want to bounce the weight off my chest or anything. I want to remove all momentum so I can get the best out of the exercise. Oh man, I took everything out of me. And then when you remove all that momentum as well, you know that you can do it yourself and you don't rely on bouncing the barbell off your chest. So it grows your confidence under the bar for bench press. Uh, for, and here I lowered the weight for 10 pounds and I really wanted eight reps, but man, I just wasn't feeling it. Got seven. Well, you know, it is what it is. Sometimes it happens. Even here, I went to 85 pounds for incline. Decided to go slow on the way down, very slow. And that puts a lot more time with attention. I was going for um, eight reps, I believe. And I counted seven in my head. I think I got actually nine or some shit. I don't know. I, when I count sometimes in my head and doing the set, sometimes you just, you're off. And <laughs> but I did more reps than I think I, I, I actually did. So that's good. And uh, then, then again, lower the weight here again because I was getting lower and lower energy. So I did not want to ego lift. I don't care about the weight really. I just want to get the good pump, good blood flow, and get in that volume to grow my chest. And uh, I love going a little bit slower on the way down here for the incline. Really gets the blood flow to my chest, especially the upper chest, and it grows it nice and thick. That's my goal. I want to get a thicker, fuller upper chest so that's why i'm working a lot on the incline stuff here even the incline flies here go slow on the way down stretch the chest and then squeeze at the very top to get that blood flow all to the chest no ego just lightweight get the blood flow going on and get these high reps in to really burn up these muscle fibers that's that's how i think about things um, I, I think i think it's very important to think when you're doing a set of your tempo especially when you're bodybuilding because if you don't you're, you're just gonna go with the flow and the mind to muscle connection is not as there when you do that so i i for me anyways it's very important to think about my tempo for isolation movements especially and uh here after that I decide to go for triceps uh, i hit all three heads to really make sure my arms are full and that'll help me bench more as well to having good triceps is essential to have a good bench press you're ne you're never gonna see an elite bencher or a really good bencher with uh, small ass arms unless they have some kind of super wide grip and they kind of like go around the movement a little bit but if you have if you have good triceps you can go narrow grip and just bench a lot more either way so i i really make sure that my triceps are nice and full and hit every single part um, but then again, I squeeze at the bottom right here. I stop at the very bottom. Look at that. And then go back up controlled, no swinging, no momentum, just letting the muscles do the work, getting that blood flow in and burning up these fibers. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this workout really. Then here overhead to hit the inside part, the triceps, straightforward stuff. Um, 
but i recommend this workout if you want to grow get bigger and stronger this is the best of both world because we start with strength and then go for size um but i, I make sure to just eat a whole lot of food after because shit like it gets exhausting so we need to recover efficiently but yeah this is uh, my body composition right now I had a good chest pump right there right there and uh, feeling fantastic feeling good getting back my thickness i'd say in a month or two from now i'm gonna look hella thick and i can't wait i can't wait to get back my size and even bigger than before and uh, improve my body composition as well that's the whole point of all these videos is to share with you what i do so maybe you can apply that for yourself get some ideas and get some gains for yourself as well i mean it's a it's fun it's hard but it's very really really fun <laughs> Uh, then I went home, got some food in, and that's pretty much it. Rest and do it again tomorrow. Another body part, obviously. That's pretty much it for this workout. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're not already. Helps out the channel. And I'll see you next time with another video. Take it easy. Peace.